Hello! And we are finally back once more with Honkai Star Rail! A bit of lag again because I, still had, I had some issues again. And I'm still not quite sure what it is. It also is only Twitch which was making me issues. I don't have the issues with YouTube for whatever reason. <laughs> Um, but hey, at least it's working now. I'm not sure what it is, yeah, there could be like a few potential trouble points, but yeah, one might be that the spare router I'm currently using may not be that good with handling IP for sex. But also, it's not like doesn't know much about technical stuff. You don't even know what I just talked about. <laughs> but but also get it. They get it. I hope. And yeah. Today we want to continue with the warden stuff and March being trained. Because we are like getting contained by Yunlin and Yanxing, we come like well, like Mart is getting drink Just we come like uh, some sort of um, yeah, sword fighter for the world ends. So yeah, we've also been already in the dungeon to reach uh, Yanxing. Let's go. It's on about. I just hope we can just continue where we left off. Where you wanted to trail. Trail some suspicious characters. Yes, thank you. Never mind who they are. Let's just film them. That's where we were at. Mm, there is much more conditions need to be met to complete the photo shoot. We got objectives are listed at the top left corner for of the interface. When off we got a mad, you can press OK. Alright. We should have just killed those lowly beasts. Which beast? Those little brats won't take up much space. There are boxes all over this place. Just dump them into one and no one will notice. Cut the theatrics, Gulak. Even the slightest slip-up could interfere with Lord Moktok's plans. So where are we heading next? To check the freight skiffs. We've got a lot of preparations to do. Also, don't forget to take those crates with you. Weapons, supplies. We've got to be well prepared. Otherwise... We're screwed. Hmm. Don't be so suspicious. Are they smugglers? What exactly are they up to? I have no clue. But they seem to be moving those crates. I've got an idea. We can hide inside the crates and follow them. Wait, so we're gonna try to become cargo for them over. Okay, what are we your plan? Take advantage of the temporary absence of the groove, you cautiously approach crate and coral inside. Ugh, it's so cramped in here. Of course it is, and we are free people. I can hardly breathe. Just hang in there. You have footsteps passing back and forth beside a crate. If someone were to open the crate at that moment, they would certainly catch you in a ridiculous hiding position. Fortunately, that doesn't happen. This reminds me of Kizaki all over again when he tried to infiltrate less than fortress, but at least the box we were in was a bit bigger. A threading wagon is now at the bottom of the crate. Um, wait. After uh, let's fix an ember area of flooding from inside and zero, the sound of the crate touching down. Let's just put the cargo here for now, alright? Then we'll move on to inspect the ships. Lord Moktok said that as soon as we're done, we're to board the freight skiff and leave this place. Don't worry, I've changed the shipping schedule. You two, come with me. Is it just me? I keep smelling that stench of lowly beasts everywhere we go. 
<laughs> Bard Earth. Don't be so paranoid. There's a parting footsteps on Lego Signal, prompting you to breathe a sigh of relief. Looks like they're planning to escape on the skiffs in Stargazer Navalia. They keep talking about their plans, but where did they come from? And what do they want to do on the Sienjo? Well, they're definitely up to something bad. Wait, uh, they disappeared! Uh, let's catch up to them! No, they didn't really disappear. They just started walking. Tread softly. Breathe quietly. And make sure to keep an eye on them. Hide out of sight as soon as there's any sign of activity. It's not even doing anything. Don't be so paranoid. We're running out of time. Get over here. <laughs> Shuhart, I'm coming. We're leaving. We should catch up to them. Quickly. Watch out. They're on high alert. uniforms but I'm pretty sure they're not members of the Skyfaring Commission the Artisanship Commission or the Cloud Knights <sighs> this is way too suspicious uh, never mind who they are let's just film them that way if they do anything bad we'll have solid evidence against them much being smart for once uh... Look at this. A freight star skiff with enough room to fit at least 20 of my men. I'll let the others know and have them prepare more star skiffs. Do you have some men? Once we're past the checkpoint, there will be beast ships waiting for us. Lord Moktok is ready. The revival of our ancient bloodline all hinges on this operation. Wait, didn't you hear Moktok before? Isn't he that like chained? What did he just say? Beast ships? Uh, what were they called? Wolf beast. <laughs> Who's there? It's those brats! I told you to get rid of them, but you didn't listen, you idiot! Wipe them all out! Yep, there are the these priests. Alright. Borison? Adosa! Die, you lowly beast! Uh... <laughs> I could take ten of you! Here you go, master! The market is on price! Investing in victory means playing the long game! <laughs> no dirty tricks. Watch your head! <laughs> Spend freely. Silly. Uh, animation for the other mid. Oh, 
Hedge your bets. Let the valuation go nappy! The market is on price! Investing in victory means playing the long game! Sure, I'll play along. It's on me. Welcome, customers. <laughs> yeah! How is this possible? How did these Foxians change their appearances like that? They're not Foxians at all. They revealed their true form. They're Borison, just like the bandits I defeated on the IPC ship. Wait, that means... Well, how did the Borison manage to infiltrate the Sienjo? It's not just a simple disguise of wearing our clothing and shaving their whiskers. They're somehow able to alter their appearance to be indistinguishable from Foxians. Mm -hmm. They even have official IDs for the Skyfaring Commission, the Artisanship Commission, and... and... even the Cloud Knights? Let me check this fake Cloud Knights tag. Maybe it'll give us some clues. Lujun, an officer of the Patrol Defense Squad? Huh? Wait! What's the matter? I encountered a patrol officer named Lujun before. It was a few weeks ago, when we were transporting the Borison prisoners. <sighs> they can forge official identities and move around the Sienjo without raising suspicion. Oh no, this is bad. Really bad. Uh, even worse, if you find one cockroach on the express, it usually means... There are more Boris in hiding on the Sienjo. I bet their plan is much bigger than just stealing information. We've got to report this to the Seed of Divine Foresight. Immediately. We were in the Seed of Divine Foresight. Ah, back at the trail braces, POE. Oh, Fraser. Oh yeah, we're being interrogated. I am glad to finally meet you in person, guests from the Astral Express. I'm Fei Xiao, the general of the Xian Zhou Yao Cheng. Let me introduce our guest to you. The one dressed in green. He is the reincarnation of Inviter Lune, and the person behind him is the newest member of the crew. I've heard a lot about you. She's well informed. Outside the reports from the Law Fu, the Skyfaring Commission of the Yao Xing has also gathered plenty of information about both of you. I've been eager to meet you face to face for reasons that I'm sure General Jing Yuan has explained, right? Mm hmm. That's right. But don't worry, this isn't a trial. I just want to have a chat with you and get a better understanding of the facts. Nope, According to General Jing Yuan's report, the Ruin Legion is to blame for the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis, and all Arbiter Generals should pay attention to the Ruin Author's movements. Over the years, the Destruction's minions have wreaked havoc on countless worlds, and the Alliance has been keeping an eye on them, but no one expected them to join hands with the remnants of the Abundance. The damage caused by the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis was far less severe than expected, which is good news for us. However, it was quite different from the Ruin Legion's usual style of destroying life wherever they go. While I trust the bravery of the Divine Foresight and the Nameless, I'm curious about some details missing from the report. I'd like to take this chance to have an exchange with both of you. 
All right. Let me be clear. The questions I'll ask might not reflect my actual thoughts. So please don't take offense if any of my questions seem a bit harsh. Please go ahead, General. But keep in mind we can only answer based on what we know. And perhaps you already have the answers to your questions in your heart. <laughs> you have a clever tongue. I like it. Oh, it really Merlin's isn't, claw you? is quite articulate. Right now, her intentions are unknown, and Jinyuan wants us to be honest. Maybe I'll just stick to the facts we know. Mm -hmm. The Khan General from the Century Yard Shing, she came to observe the war dance under the orders of the Marsha Arrow. The true purpose of the trip is to observe the celebration of love of the new The General said she's straightforward and stern, therefore, trying to deceive her is probably no good idea. Let's cut to the chase. Before the crisis struck, the Astral Express was guided here by a Stellaron hunter, a wanted felon, in an attempt to resolve the Stellaron crisis. However, everyone in the cosmos knows of the Stellaron hunter's reputation. So, why did you place so much trust in them? Could it be that some of you have a connection with them? Hmm... It comes down to the Stellaron already. Apart from the Lafu, there are many other worlds suffering from Stellaron corrosion. For example, Yorillo 6, the world that the Express stopped at before reaching the Lafu, was one of them. Okay, I can't. Why is the. The choices is, are, is a bit unclear then. What I expected was like him talking about them putting the Stellaron inside of him. That's like how we met them, but. To the Express, Stellarons act as roadblocks on the Silver Rail and pose risks to the warping process. Right, no, actually, that's why dealing with Stellaron issues is part of the duty of the Nameless. No, it, it actually was a good answer for us. Wait, still, different answer I expected. Ah, I've heard about those problems caused by Stellarons. The Express connects various worlds, so it makes sense for you to take care of this. The cosmos is a mess, and the trailblazers are just doing their best to fix it. Hmm. I understand. Let's move on to the next question. The reports suggest that Don Shu, the master of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, colluded with the Lord Ravager and used the power of the Stellaron to resurrect the Ambrosial Arbor. Hmm. But here's the thing. Don Shu was just a chief alchemist. Even if she colluded with our enemies and summoned the Stellaron, how did she manage to bypass the Vidyatara guards around the Ambrosial Arbor? I don't even remember when she did that. Uh... I mean, the exile of Bible also was part of uh, of the whole thing, but I'm not sure if that's the right answer. Uh, I can just return later if this is not the right one. If the Lawfu hadn't exiled Don Hung, leaving the Vidyatara with no leader, they wouldn't have fallen into chaos, and there wouldn't have been the opportunity to bring the Stellaron to the roots of the Arbor unnoticed. And Vibrator Lune was exiled due to his own crimes. Now, Don Hung, as his reincarnation, is free from his sins. However, why did he risk trespassing on the Sienjo Lawfu before his exile was lifted? I was concerned about the safety of my companions, so I acted brazenly. I admit I was reckless at the time, but... But he returned despite everything. Now, let's consider the outcome. The arbor was resurrected, and the Lawfu required a High Elder to repair the seal and suppress the plague mark. It's hard not to think about the stakes involved, right? According to the report, Lord Ravager Fantilia is the mastermind behind the entire conspiracy. 
She disguised herself as an ambassador of the Sky Faring Commission and traveled with you, only to vanish without a trace later on. It seems too convenient to label her as a scapegoat. She's not a idiot, but. Uh... I mean, which one did witness everything? Can I return? Could you please give us another chance? I'd like to answer that question again. No problem. But remember that a debate is like a duel. The more you hesitate, the farther you are from victory. Um... I personally met Don Shu once. Her closest friend was killed during the war on the Fong Ho, and she harbored deep hatred towards the hunt. So she spent years making preparations in the Alchemy Commission in order to take revenge on the Sienjo. Hmm. Revenge is also a form of the hunt. However, that doesn't explain how she managed to bring the Stellaron into the Scale Gorge waterscape, which was guarded by the Vidyatara. Well, you should ask Don Shu herself for the answer. Unfortunately, Don Shu is dead, and even her corpse has crumbled into ash. That's one less clue we can pursue. That's right. According to the report, Lord Ravager Fantilia is the master. She disguised herself as an. I mean, this is wrong. But you was eager to obtain the power of you? I guess she kind of was, but... We were working with Diviner Fu, yeah. and she also witnessed Fantilia's true form. You're not going to doubt one of your own people, are you? Of course not. We can trust the testimony of Master Diviner Fu Xuan. However, even if she saw it with her own eyes, we can't completely rule out the possibility that she might have been deceived. After all, it's suspicious how the culprit just bizarrely vanished. I mean, in the era, but that's what happened. Oh, it seems that your answers have addressed all my questions. Generals, I am finished with my questioning. So, what do you think, General Feishao? Have the doubts in the report been cleared up? <sighs> the two nameless have been honest in their answers. Even though there are some tricky details, my intuition tells me there is nothing wrong. However, the three questions I posed earlier were not just for the nameless, but for you too, General Jing Yuan. First, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus grew uninterrupted on the La Fu, yet the six charioteers were not aware of it. That was a dereliction of duty. Second, you believed in the Stellaron Hunter's prophecy and entrusted outsiders to solve the crisis, even granting them access to the Plague Mark. That was a dereliction of responsibility. Third, you insist on holding the war dance right after the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis, putting the Lawfu back in the spotlight. That is a dereliction of wisdom. <laughs> Merlin's Claw. Is this your line of thinking, or the Ten Lords? From the moment I walked in, I made it clear that the questions I'd ask might not reflect my actual thoughts. <sighs> the disciples of Sanctus Medicus were deeply rooted, and had been plotting for a long time. I admit it was my negligence for not noticing it earlier. 
As for the Stellaron Hunter's prophecy, I didn't believe all of it. But in the end, the Law Food did survive the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis. So, I think it's safe to say that Elio's prophecy about the future holds some merit. And as for the war dance, do you think I'm unaware of the risks? However, risks can also be opportunities. The Law Fu has lain low for too long. I believe it's time to stir up the dregs hidden in the depths and wash them away once and for all. <laughs> Just as I expected from our sophisticated divine foresight. You have a way with words. I like it. But, unfortunately, ever since the report was submitted, the Alliance has been filled with rumors and speculation. Even within the Law Fu, there are people accusing you of neglecting your duties, resulting in the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. So, so what are your thoughts on all of this, General Fei Shao? As a fellow Arbiter General, I fully understand the difficulties of this position. Personally, I think all these rumors are meaningless drivel. Across the sea of stars, the divine foresight knows better than anyone else what happened on the Lawfu and the meaning behind it. Just as what happened on the Xianzhou Yao Qing recently. You mean the Xianzhou Yao Qing is also. The scouts of the Verdant Knights have sent back reports that Borison are making trouble again. The Borison packs that were once divided and scattered have started swallowing each other up forming larger and larger packs. Moreover, there's an entity named Mongus behind it all. An entity? According to the report, this entity isn't actually a Borison. It's a woman claiming to be the messenger of the Master of Immortality. She's described as having 12 faces and 12 pairs of fangs, as cruel as poison and as elusive as quicksand. The Borson believe she'll give them a chance to rise again. Huh. <sighs> That's Fentilia. That's right. You're lucky that I'm the one who came this time. If it were the Patina Justice or the Seer Strategists, this conversation might not be so friendly. I've always had faith in my instincts, so I don't doubt your good intentions. But the Alliance has its fair share of questions and doubts about the Law Fu. So, my plan is to come up with an acceptable answer to satisfy the Alliance. What's in this plan, General Fei Xiao? General Jing Yuan, you already know what has to be done. But since you don't want to be the bad guy, I'll take care of it for you. You need the final word from the Ten Lords Commission to quell any doubts. And for that, I'll have to ask the two nameless to visit the Shackling Prison. I am imprisoning us. No, I'm not imprisoning it. you. While you're there, I'll ask a judge in the Ten Lords Commission's interrogation division to record a detailed testimony with the karmic mirror from both of you. We'll fill in the gaps that weren't covered in the report and silence any protests within the Alliance. I'm okay with that. Your willingness to help is truly heartwarming, youngsters. Then, as the Merlin's Claw requests... Oh, there's one more thing. This testimony is for silencing the voices of opposition within the Alliance, but I would like to urge General Jing Yuan to listen to the pleas of the Foxians on the Xianzhou Yaoqing. So, you are here for Hulei. Exactly. Hulei is locked up in the Law Fu's shackling prison. Since he is the broodlord of the Borison, I want to transfer him onto the Xianzhou Yao Qing and imprison him there. The recent movements of the Borison suggest they're planning something big, so we must act preemptively. Uh, I think it might be a bit late for that. It makes sense to have the Foxians keep an eye on their arch nemesis. Since you trust my judgment, I'll repay that trust. 
What do you think about all this, General Huayan? <laughs> I was worried this would turn into a heated argument, but it seems like both of you are on the same page, solving each other's problems. I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. And as for Hule, I'll send my lieutenant Zhao Cho and Mozza to check on his condition in prison and ready him for transport. If there are no more questions, shall we get this started? Well, when is uh, Yao Cheng's report coming in? That's the question. Also, let me talk with Fei Shao for a moment. Fei Shao gives you once over, and despite lagging any apparent reason, you feel scrutinized as if she was seizing you up in the Do you actually believe in the Stellaron Hunter's prophecy? Mm. I mean, so far it's going to script, so yeah. But just because we believe in it doesn't mean uh, uh, that we can do something. Yes, I do. That's why I'm here. Hmm. I understand. You're definitely a unique individual, just like Hua Yan said. I hope you'll walk alongside the rainbow's path as a friend. Well, one well it depends on when we get cased upon by. Uh, Lei, I think, uh, was in, uh, was, uh, uh, Eon's name. I'm really sorry about all this. But the testimony in the Shackling prison won't take up much of your time. I'll call for a messenger to take you to the interrogation division. You just need to give your testimony, and then you can head back. So no need to worry. All right. As you wish, General. Uh, it looks strikingly familiar. Have you seen As General Ching Yuan requested, everything is prepared for your arrival, and I am here to receive you. The judges at the interrogation division also know your purpose in coming. It's just in Scales Gorge Water Scale. Interesting. The Shackling Prison. I didn't expect to be back here after all these years. Don Hong, don't worry about me. If you're ready, I'll open the gate for you. Go ahead. Well, technically, the Shackling Prison is spread out across multiple delves, and the Ancient Sea is just where they overlap. Please, come on in, dear guests. Hmm. Oh, alright, we'll just be checking this out. I'll just double checking if we have this unlocked. Yes, we do. Alright. So many guards. Jojo Mosa. What are you looking at? The shackling prison on the Lafu is completely different from the one on the Yaqing. It's completely underwater. Whether it's in the clouds or underwater, breaking free would still be a piece of cake for me. <laughs> <laughs> still thinking about your old jailbreak tricks, huh? Forget it. You're free now. 
Just don't do anything stupid, or the judges will throw you back in there and lock you up for a few hundred years. You'll see me again in just a few days. <laughs> He's confident. Taking Hule back to the Yaoqing means a lot to the Foxians on the ship, and to the General herself. So stay alert. Guests, my name is Shui Yi, and I'm here on orders from the Incarceration Division of the Ten Lords Commission. We're Zhao Cho and Moza. General Fei Xiao sent us to extradite the Borisin criminal Hu Lei to the Yaoqing. We're here to inspect the conditions of his imprisonment and make preparations for the handover and transportation. I assume you've been briefed, Your Honor. Your visit request has been approved. I'll be your guide for this trip. Hmm. Prisoner Hule, the warhead and brood lord of the Boris and Abominations of Abundance and the arch nemesis of the Foxians, is responsible for 2,123 wars of aggression and countless associated crimes. That's a lot. Due to his heinous acts, he has been imprisoned in the depths of the Shackling Prison and subjected to the punishment of the Forest of Swords until the end of time. He shall never be pardoned. No need to repeat his crimes and sentence, Your Honor. He is the greatest enemy of us Foxians. The stories of his atrocities are used to terrify our children. I'm well aware of every crime he's committed. Let's move on to the next step. I think I actually, yeah, I actually know now one know now why the Borison can shapeshift if they have Ventilia's help because Ventilia shapeshifted into um, into the Foxen as well for like the story. So it's no wonder that like the Borisons also can do like shapeshifting to the Foxen now. When it comes to visiting criminals, there are rules in place to ensure your safety. I know you've heard legends about Hule since you were children, but your knowledge about him is likely very limited. Only the judges of the Ten Lords Commission truly know what kind of abomination is locked up at the bottom of the Shackling Prison. It has been centuries since Jing Liu, the former sword champion of the La Fu, captured Hule. And during all those years, we never provided him with any food, yet he somehow managed to stay alive. It defies all the documented physical characteristics of the Borison. The Forest of Swords, forged by the Punishment Division, is a device of intense torment, used to execute sinful abominations. Most Borison die within three days in the forest, but Hule is different. Every time the blades pierce him, his body instantly heals. Despite the brutal punishment, he somehow manages to survive. That's weird. The really? complex rules are there because of his abnormal characteristics. Do you understand now? I apologize for any offense caused. Please continue, Your Honor. I've given you the instructions regarding who lays visitation. Please make sure you read them carefully. Prisoner Huri. Summer of Crimes, the Borison Warhead, a denizen of abundance, accountable of numerous acts of invasion and associated war crimes, accountable for the long-term enslavement of Foxians and utilizing their blood for alchemical purposes. Detention method, this prisoner must be subject to, to the punishment of the Forest of Swords and never be pardoned. They must be transferred to different locations on a regular basis, the shackles must be checked for sturdiness during the transfer and the air fillers in the new cell must be intact and functional. Notes First, the confinement of this prisoner is the foundation of the alliance between the Ziencho and the Foxians. Any individuals objecting to this sentence should be punished for sowing discord. Second. Anyone who contacts or converses with this prisoner must take poison-proof pellets or wear a breathing mask equipped with a filter cartridge uh, to counteract the effects of lupitoxin. Third, the prisoner's place of detention must be changed on a yearly basis, and the new location must remain unknown to individuals below the rank of Cloud Knight Lieutenant or Judge. 
Kopf. Do not mention Jing Liu when conversing with this person now. <laughs> oh, I so want to step into his cell of Jing Liu now. <laughs> I don't know if I just look and like please, I need to take, take this pellet before proceeding. No, I'm not taking random medicine. Then you won't be allowed to visit Hulei. Just swallow it already. Hulei is like all Borison. He can release a pheromone called lupatoxin that induces fear. Thousands of years ago, we Foxians were enslaved by the Borison. Not because we were naturally weaker, but because of their lupatoxin. This pill is for our own mental well-being. <sighs> I understand. I knew you were a reasonable person. Now that we've taken the medicine, let's proceed. <laughs> Your Honor. What is it? No, never mind. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Let's keep moving. Oh, I think he can smell that they are Borisons. That's why he also reacted weirdly when he saw those three, uh, like, uh, suspicious guys. At the moment, we, like, um, first saw them. We didn't know they were Borisons yet, but I feel like he can, like, smell them. So this means there's already Borisons in the Shackling prison as one of the guards. Here we are. Her honor hasn't arrived yet. Please wait a moment. Just wanted to say, I uh, just also want to say, what is Chi Chi doing here? But no, that's not Chi Chi. Look, and now we see a honeycomb of the uh, densely packed prison cells extending deep into the darkness beyond your view. There's the gas on the number of prisoners they are capable of holding here. 3,000? 30,000? 300,000? Wait, this may not be in even the entire shackling prison. Mm, true. This place. It's still as cold as it used to be. Guess it is. Sorry. I was just reminiscing about some unpleasant memories. Thank you. It's all my fault that you were involved in the Shenzhou's problems. You shouldn't have to see the inside of the Shackling prison. I'm... I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's fine. I wish I could show you the real sights of the Lofu. <laughs> We get petted by the huh. The six charioteers might have more power over the rest of this Xianzhou ship. But here, in the Shackling prison, is the judges of the Ten Lords Commission who call the shots. The judges will use a complicated interrogation device called the Karmic Mirror. It accurately tracks every physiological change during questioning and records it. Therefore, the judgment made here will be sufficient to convince the other administrators of this Xianzhou. At least they won't attempt to challenge the conclusions. Perhaps that's why Fei Xiao insisted that we come here. Probably. Okay. But watch your step. This place is not like the others. You notice this gaze gorge for this gaze checking prison was built at the bottom of the ancient sea as a column structure that ext uh, extends endlessly into the depths. Spirit furrows monitor and manage real time information of prisoners and prisoners on the screen. Welcome, dear guests from the Express. Judge Hanya of the Interrogation Division. We've met before. I <laughs> this is the only judges here. Well, and Ho Ho. Hmm? You don't want to see me? Well, in that case, I can call in the judge who's an expert in acupuncture, or the one who's handy with axes and saws, 
you're the one who knows all about whips and ropes. We've got plenty of options here, and we'll find one that suits your taste. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> just kidding. We judges work in shifts, and it just happens to be my shift. Maybe we're destined to cross paths. Please allow me to express my gratitude to you again for subduing the demons in the Fixtral Garden. Looks like while March 7th and I were clueless, you already made many friends on the Shenzhou Lofu. Well duh. Even though like you and I have met before, we can't show any favoritism under the Ten Lords. So, please do as I command as we head to Scrivener Hall and beyond. Don't do anything without my permission. This is not a place for ordinary mortals. You and Mr. Dunham, please come with me. Please lead the way, Your Honor. Please let me activate the mechanism before we all move forward. And please, watch your steps. Okay. More though. It's actually a chest here, so yeah. This one is not active. Other than that, I guess we can just go. I guess I'm just gonna follow where the story wants me to go first. Something to pick up there. Hmm. Wait, this is the entrance we just came from. Okay. That's not one of these puzzle blocks. Come on. Uh, Hexanexus we make. Okay. Show some experience. Just was like no danger detected, but never put um, your guard down. Just didn't like see it as being like on top. What are it? Yeah, blocks the way forward. She's been instructed with an important task. I'll show you. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. <laughs> I heard the war dance is about to be held in the mortal world. I remember watching a sword duel at the war dance with my sister when we were young. The Cloud Knight, who was the Luofu's ringmaster, was an amazing swordsman, and their sword flashed like lightning. The Outworld Challenger had fiery red hair and a hand made of steel, which roared like thunder. They battled for a long time before a winner could be declared. Don't tell me you mean uh, Luca, was it? Like the four star, the brawler? Time sure flies. Now, no, it can't that be. my sister and I are residents of the Netherworld, 
And we will never again feel the thrill of a competition. It can be just for the reason because they're really successful and like and rare of the outside world for like decades. Are there a lot of people in Starskiff Haven due to the war dance? Sounds amazing. It's a shame I'm too busy to attend. But even if I could, I'd probably just scare people off with my current appearance. Ach, no, no, no. Let's get going then. What's wrong about appearance? That's like a historic expression. place is filled with the cold air from the northern peak of the polar delve. Even the toughest long life species would have a hard time enduring this. Okay, I, I start. I start to understand. Start to understand. No danger detected, but never let your guard down. Hmm. Did you hear something just now? Let me check it out. Ugh, what an eyesore. This place is packed with boxes and crates. Well, these are some treasure chests for us. These crates... They look oddly familiar. A few days ago, the spirit bearers received reports about an IPC transport ship that was attacked by Borison. Then, a bunch of those abominations were dumped into this place. I had a oh, feeling there like would be trouble true. during the war dance. But throwing both the pirates and the cargo in jail? <laughs> That's a new one. I heard the Intelligentsia Guild crafted something dangerous. We have many records in the Hall of Karma about these wise ones. They love to tinker with forbidden technologies, always trying to push the limits of Ingenia. I caught a glimpse of the mechs in those crates, and they bear a striking resemblance to Borison. I wonder what they're planning this time. Well, business first. Let's keep moving. They're probably using, um, since they like using the nervous system, they're probably using a person nervous system. <sighs> Strange. I don't remember checking the containment facilities a second time. What's happening here? Why are these things moving on their own? Something's wrong. The guards aren't responding. Burst to ashes! Set to the sea, go play! 
Some value at existence is unity. Every petal again. All will be swept away by the wind. Stay put! Get that! Stay in step. Let's improvise. The mood is set. Let the show begin! Still the same one. <laughs> This thing is going wild, just like a Borisan. Looks like we're on our own for this one. Grace and elegance. I'm gonna hold everyone back again! Give me strength! Great! Teamwork. Fiends or devils! I'll crush them all! Die anyway. Let me just say that this bad on But how is this even possible? The spirit bearers follow the protocols. Cutting off power to the mechs and sealing the crates. How could these mechs still start moving? It's just like what happened in the Artisanship Commission before. These goods went haywire and attacked everyone in sight. The Alchemy Commission members examined them and found some unusual structures within. These things showing up in the Shackling Prison can only mean one thing. A prison break. And whoever delivered these goods clearly wanted them to go through the Xianzhou's strict inspection process to show the Skyfaring Commission and Cloud Knights how dangerous they were. They wanted these mechs to end up right here in the Shackling Prison. <sighs> if these things already started taking action while nobody was paying attention, then the whole prison is in trouble, I'm afraid. And to make things worse, Another group of visitors just entered the depths of the Shackling Prison. The messengers from the Xianzhou Yaoqing. And the prisoner they came to visit might be the target whom these wolf-shaped mechs were delivered here for. If that vicious beast manages to break free, it will be a catastrophe for the Xianzhou Lofu. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're actually been switching to Georgia. Interesting. Here we are. Have we arrived already, Your Honor? Shouldn't there be a cage here? Uh, I can't see what his skills are, and I hate that. Wait, game tools. Are you helping me? No, it's not really helping me. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, what's your calculation tool? Credit, no. Detailed character guide. Ah. And that link is not leading me everywhere, anywhere where I actually want to go. Uh, yo, je... Traces. Eidolons. I just want to know his goddamn skills. Gary runs traces, basic info. I don't need like to know his stats or everything, I just wanna know his fucking skill set. 
Okay, um, we have his basic attack. He does fire damage. And that's mainly it. Just a normal fire attack damage of a single target. Voldemort does AOE, reset of action roll stacks, and enemy targets, numbers of action roll stacks, percent battlefield, activate the zone for damage to other attack to all enemies. Receive increased automatic damage with a chance of inflicting to a stack of action roast. One of each enemy can turn into things. Voldemort. Zone has returns. Okay, it's debuffing them with an with an yield effect. Skill deals fire damage. Fire deals uh, agent. We found that they inflict one stack of ocean roast on the primary. Technique if it creates a special dimension that lasts 15 seconds. Become the entire special dimension deals fire damage on the hand. Uh, blank ocean roast. And talent hits an enemy with basic attack skill or death 100% for one stack of action rolls. At one stack increase damage received by enemies by 50% and each subsequent stack increase by 5%. It was kept at 5 stacks, 2 turns. Also considered as being burned at the same time, taking fire dot damage. Okay, he's a dot character. Or like a. Uh, uh, yeah, Nihility, fire. So he's good for an Nihility party. That's just what I wanted to know. Thank you, game. Why do you hide this information from me? I don't get it. <laughs> I really do the not most. get it. Because then, yeah, then let's go for a dot party. Obviously. Uh... Let's take Black Rest Swan. Assured, dear. I'll do all that I can to assist you. Ekron. Our paths cross once more. Ready for another dance, Memo Keeper? Mm. I that, no, and he did that as debuffs. Good question. Really good question. I'm sure who was the character again. Uh, I'm gonna just have these two, three options at the moment. I'll just go for the job for the like the, the the damage type coverage. There you go. Notorious felons are locked away in the solitary delves deep down in the prison. Those delves can't be opened without proper authorization. The blue bird paves the path. And the Stygian lanterns illuminate it. Help me light up these lanterns, and the way to the bottom of the Shackling prison will reveal itself. All right. I've given you the diagrams for lighting the lanterns. Please take a look. Uh. Okay. Two then. That should be free, and I mean it's also easily able to just by height, which is rich. It's better to use your brain and save your strength. Interesting key lock mechanism. Uh, key lock mechanism. <laughs> key lock mechanism. Yeah, of course. That's a word. With this and a key in the shape of a colossal sky bearing column that slots into the keyboard and locks the path to the shaking prison grip. A glimpse of high severity are had in subdued cavity, captivity. 
That was a never key. The key that keeps felons locked away behind the ultimate gate. All right. The path is open. Once we descend to the bottom of the prison, please do not do anything reckless. Inside the delve behind this door is the greatest enemy of the Foxians, Hule. According to custom, envoys from the Yao Qing visit the Xianzhou La Fu once every century to check on this abomination's imprisonment and condition. Even though the Ten Lords Commission sentenced Hulei to the Forest of Swords, suffering every day for the rest of his life, I understand that the Yao Qing messengers want to see him dead. Unfortunately, for the past seven centuries, they've had to return disappointed. Because this beast simply can't be killed. If we can use his toxin to create medicine and save an innocent life, it might help balance out some of the sins he's committed. Could you be the key to a cure for the general? Who lay? <laughs> and once again, the envoys of the Yao Qing will leave disappointed. However, I won't say the same for me and my brothers. Who's there? I'm just a humble counselor of the Rhino Hound Pack. You can call me Mock Talk. Oh, okay, so he's a Mock Talk dude. Wardens, intruders on the lowest level! Send reinforcements! Nobody will hear you here, at the bottom of the shackling prison. Thank you for opening up the prison for us, Your Honor. We'll take it from here. No wonder I kept smelling that familiar stench. So, it wasn't just my imagination. Do your thing, Morsa. We mustn't let these abominations get any closer! Right, let's put it out. Detestable things. There are too many of them. Once we were inside, we found soldiers available to us everywhere. Receive divinity. Don't worry, it's just a scream. It's better to make no move. More season. Let's settle this. <laughs> Destiny is an ill fate to send. Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Just time for oblivion. I suggest you surrender. No, we won't surrender. Of so course. Easily. I'll still kill you. But I promise you. How presumptuous. Die now! Leave if you can, Morsa. It's not time yet. I'm honored by your presence. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? How about letting the enemy strike first? You chose the wrong enemy. Bloom. Yes. In his hand. Eternal stay dead. Return! Return stay again. Just to use What do you want to know? Ill tidings manifest. Free will, or was it fate? How familiar. Receive divinity. Don't worry, it's just a scream. <laughs> a little more heat. I'm honored. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Sweet. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Bye bye.
I guess we have an issue now. of the Foxians, and the hunter of all beings. I'm Moktok, a humble counselor of the Rhino Hound Pack. I am only one insignificant heir spawned from your bloodline. It's been at least seven centuries since you led our pack through the hunting grounds of the stars. I'm thrilled to see that you are as cunning and skillful as ever. Seven centuries. Seven centuries have passed. But... Why have Duran's whelps grown to look like this? Tell me, Mothok. Why have you grown to assemble our most despicable slaves and enemies, the Foxians? I've been commanded to release you from this cursed prison. It is Senjaya's will. That's why I had to take a magic pill, don the skin of a lonely beast, and play along with their hypocrisy. Since you have an escape plan, tell me, what's our next move to get off of this ridiculously large ship? <laughs> My brothers and I will lock down it is this ridiculous prison, large. trapping the prison guards inside. This will buy us some time. The rest of my crew, who are undercover like me, secure the vessels for our escape according to the plan we only have a tight two-hour window to get out of here i know his voice and i'm trying to remember which character i know it from it's not from like another horror verse game that's the thing I'm trying to remember I'm trying to remember where I know it from. Seems like Lauter is still like something like uh, set up to me. Oh yes, he sounds like a law from Tales of Arise. It's Law's voice. That's why it's also so immediately hitting me with familiarity because I'm playing Tales of Arise currently, as well as why I am from Free Houses. <laughs> God. Originally, I intended to carry out the plan tomorrow, but they're planning to transfer you to the Sienjo Yaoqing now. So I seized this opportunity to set you free. <sighs> what a reckless plan, you idiot. Even if we manage to get the ships, our chances of escaping are slimmer than a foxy and slipping through my claws. But we have no other choice. The angel serving under the Master of Immortality sent me with a message. Only your return will end the prolonged divisions among the Borison. Every one of my crew is ready to lay down their lives if it means setting you free. <laughs> A sneaky weakling like you is actually showing some reckless bravery with this plan. Fine. You'll get what you want. And all of Duran's whelps will too. Hmm. Well then, my lord. You're just watching this, interestingly. 
Before we go, like Georgia is though. Give me one of those magic pills. My lord, do you seriously want to don the skin of a lowly beast? That would be a disgrace to your greatness, my lord. You idiot. Greatness means nothing without freedom. Once I get out, I'll need a disguise that won't raise any suspicion. As you wish, my lord. Is that Foxy enslave my meal? No, he's an envoy from the Xianzhou Yaoqing. I plead you to endure him a bit, my lord, as he's more valuable as a hostage. Take him, guys. Time to move out. <laughs> okay, back to the Brutal Razor. There is. We only had like one fight with him. Madam Hanya. The Wardens in all areas are regrouping. Those Ingenium enemies are wandering around and causing heavy casualties. And to make things worse, those Iron Wolves broke open the cages and let the criminals out. We've called for backup, but it seems like all communication is jammed. Let's preserve our strength and first take down the isolated prisoners. By decree of the Ten Lords, all prison breakers and intruders shall be apprehended, dead or alive. Just a short time ago, the nether key mechanism was activated. It was probably Madame Shui and the Yao Qing messengers heading to the bottom of the prison. Given the situation, I'm afraid that area is exactly where our enemies are targeting. We mustn't let that vile beast escape from its cage. It's already too late for that. We've gathered all the prison guards who can still fight, and we'll split up and secure each floor. Go! Those intruders are quite bold. They must have been planning this for quite a while. Indeed, but Boris intend to favor direct and aggressive approaches. Crafting careful and precise plans like this is simply not their style. Let's focus on the current situation right now. Please help me. Well, it's Antilia's style though. We are always in trouble. That's true. What's the fastest way to the bottom of this prison, Miss Hanya? If we don't get there quickly, we'll soon be outnumbered by all the enemies inside. We'll have to bend the rules. Please follow me. Prisoners must remain in place and obey the by decree of the Ten Lords, all prison breakers and intruders shall be apprehended, dead or alive. Yes, ma'am. I need to repeat it. Are they still locked for me? Yep, they are. I will have to like ch check out this area after the story, I guess. I also still have here. to check out some Pelicone yes, areas, actually. Because I've like not completed all of them yet. We need a few tools yet. if we want to reach the bottom quickly. Follow me to the next floor. The path is cut off. Someone must have altered the mechanism. No matter. It'll just require a bit more work to get through. We're just gonna be switching ruining the room. Alright. Just so I didn't like out of the chest I could have just easily picked up right now. No. Okay. Here's this, there's that. I can hear a chest summary here. Operating permission, of course. I'm locked out of everything. Some spirit spiritfarers occasionally use Ingenia from the Artisanship Commission to navigate the treacherous terrain here. Normally, using devices like the shifting screen is strictly forbidden. 
Ranger as they could help prisoners escape. Never let your guard down. But given the urgency of the situation, let's just ignore the usual regulations. Okay, ignore his shell. There's already a lot of poisons here. The nether key has been activated. I hope we're not too late. Hang in there, sister. I'm just gonna pick up all of these. Of course, why not? Looks like there was a fierce battle here not long ago. <sighs> the gate to the prison delve is wide open. Hule has managed to break free. Where are the Yaoqing messengers? And where's my sister? Are they still alive? Let's look around. Maybe we'll find some clues. Hmm, we do have the bird over there. There's Xue Yi. Xue Yi is here. Miss Xue Yi briefly sacrificed herself. My condolences. Miss Hanya. Condolences? Well, that's unnecessary. You misunderstand. Thanks to the Ten Lord's blessing, my sister turned into an ingenium centuries ago. Dying and returning as just a soul to the Hall of Karma's document office has become a routine for her. I said one, to be While honest. I'm not keen on seeing her throw away her body like it's some replaceable part, but... By the way, have you seen bodies that might be the Yaoqing messengers? One of them is a Foxian wearing exquisite clothes, and the other wears a dark cloak, like a fugitive. You already know him. No. I haven't found any Foxian bodies. Only Borison ones. So, the intruders and Hule are holding the Yaoqing messengers hostage. This is the worst situation. With hostages in their grasp, the prison guards can't do anything about the prisoners. If anything happens to the messengers, the relationship between the Yaoqing and the Luofu could be irreversibly damaged. We must rescue the messengers, get out of here, and spread the news. We mustn't give up as long as there's a glimmer of hope. What have you found, Miss Hanya? Mrs. Huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> Echo Spectre. Reconstruct. It's my sister. Looks like her soul hasn't returned to the Hall of Karma yet. At such a critical moment, her death can give us information that we can turn into an advantage. Let me see. The damage isn't too bad. If I can fix it up. My sister will have a temporary body. Mm, give me a moment, I'm seeing a chest right there. Mine. Inspection complete. Nothing suspicious. Ah, it's one of these again. Hanya, 
Sonia, I, 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 I'm back. Welcome back, sister. I don't know what kind of expression I should have at a time like this. Happy? Tears of joy? <laughs> Forget it. I'm used to you coming back in all sorts of forms. Just don't let me be da 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 damaged again. I'll lose my m m memories. This side crane can't h h hold all of me. Sister, what did you see when you were killed? One of the Yaoqing messengers was... escaped, okay. and the other one was taken hostage, and... And provides you with succinct and essential intelligence. Brought upwards? Besides the Borison, there were other intruders. Invisible. Invisible intruders? What does that even mean? How many conspiracies are tangled up in this mess? Do me a favor, sister. The intruders have cut off all communication between inside and outside the prison. And now you're the only person, the only bird, who can slip out undetected. Make sure you deliver the news to the outside world. I understand. Please be careful, sister. You are different from me. Zygon flaps its wings and instantly flies out over the lower levels of the shaking process, charging straight into the depths of the shadowy passage. Time is running out, Miss Hanya. If we keep delaying, those Borisin will escape from the prison. All right. If we happen to come across that Yao Qing messenger who got away. No. Stopping Hule should probably be our top priority. Whoop. Just a question about the arrow now. Why is it vibrating so much? Okay, let me just check this first. No. Don't get in my way, in the Recalibrating. Join the battle. All will be swept away by the wind. Let the next three dungeons begin. That was my attention, but okay. I'm so everything burns to ashes! I'm just letting do its thing. Eternal. Get the Set to the sea, go play! Fight to land! I'm just do one shot anyway. <laughs> Or devils. I'll crush them all. <laughs> Let the show begin. Set to the sea, go play. Good. Um. Uh, I'll just move to you. Get four. Can I remove them afterwards again? No, I can't.
need one in the middle though. The middle one needs to be free, but you do need like all three of them. Like, in this. how do I do this with only four? Because like this would be wrong. Yeah. I was thinking a bit too hard about it in the end. Wait! Something feels off. Something's approaching us. The invisible intruders? These abominations aren't prisoners from this prison. Grace and elegance. Like fireflies. I'm so everything. Burns to ashes! Existence is unity. Every petal of all will be swept away by the wind. How can it go like invisible? Fight to live! Prison management on the Lawfu is truly concerning. Who are you? Aren't you looking for me? Mosey, all right. I can do this. Get down. Did the rhythm get messed up? The mood is set. Let the show begin. Dreams do come true. <laughs> Just focus on the fight. This is more than that fight. To live! Alright, yeah. Merciful Medicus. It'll catch up. Great teamwork. Elegance. Eternal. Every petal all will be swept away by the wind. The mood is set. Let the show begin! Get them. Stay in step. Fiends or devils. I'll crush them all! Attack! 
it's an ass wing. I was expecting it. I'm so <laughs> not even getting to you. So. There you go. Oh, Every victory is hard one. I mean, where's mostly the gun to though? Just like completely ignoring us, I guess. Danger ahead. Ready yourself. You know what? I'm just gonna make this easy for me for a moment. Makes this part. Thank you. Stream four. Oh, okay. You don't make it as easy as it will. How familiar. <laughs> Memories are beneath the waters, lies an endless abyss. Just in time. Good time. Time to say bye. Boom. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Uh? Relax. That's half the work. Destined for oblivion. Don't worry. It's just a scream. Not helpful. Say bye to breathing. Remain eternal. <laughs> what you? <laughs> Stand still. Still waters of oblivion. For the departed, it too shall fall. Good. I thought she might one shot it, but I guess that she does not do one shot a formidable foe. Sad. Full of supplies, a rare find. Best of this one then. Interesting contraption. I like these remake of the X and X's puzzles, I'm gonna be honest. They actually... A bit more demanding this time. The man seems to materialize from the shadows of the corner of the prison as if you could vanish into thin air at any moment. The fugitive wearing a dark cloak, spoken of by Hanya, now stands before you. His face is devoid of any expression, cold and indifferent, yet indisputably. You can describe this expression as facade as if it whispers, You are finally here. <sighs> the prison management on the Lawfu is truly concerning. Why oh, do you keep repeating yourself? So what if I repeat it? It's the truth after all. <sighs> the prison management on the Lafu is truly concerning. Wow. At least two different groups of intruders infiltrated here. The wolf cubs and these Mara-struck soldiers. Their hiding technique. It's pretty similar to the wind mantle technique used by the Vidyatara serving Kylorum Venti on the Yao Ching. What do you think? <sighs> well, never mind if you don't have any clues. 
Now is not the time to exchange assassination techniques. I'm Waza. My friend fell into the clutches of that wolf. I was planning to escape and report back as quickly as possible. But now it seems... <sighs> the prison on the Law Fu is a real maze, I must admit. Thank you for your help, Mr. Morza. We'll do our best to ensure your friend's safety. No. You can do nothing for him now. And you shouldn't be focusing on his safety at the moment. Your friend is in Hule's clutches, and you're just going to leave him behind? Look, I'm the Yao Qing General's guard, not his. I've seen how that giant wolf fights, and there's no way. Trying to save my friend will only get us killed. <laughs> I don't know how you think, but I won't throw my life away for a lost cause. Listen up. I've been tracking these fugitives, and I know their next move. They're planning to seal off the entire prison to keep the outside world in the dark. The worst case scenario, we are all killed by that giant wolf, and the shackling prison is sealed off. No one will know about us or about their escape until it's too late. Well, Yao yeah, Jing already figured it out that they can uh, transform to Foxian, so they would be going out to check on us anyway. And we got our bird out. And the best case scenario. Ah, uh, looks like we've got some clever minds here after all. <laughs> the best case scenario would be we seal the gates and trap the enemy inside with us. We can't let that monstrous wolf escape. Hopefully. Someone will eventually notice that something is off and come to help. As for whether we'll still be alive by then, it's not something we should think about. You should have a way of comforting people, Mr. Mortzer. As a person of the Yao Qing, I've always searched for something meaningful to give my life to. I have to make it out alive. My companions are waiting for me. <laughs> As another world dweller. I've already died once. Yeah. We won't give up. Not until the very last moment. None of you are part of the Ten Lords Commission, so sacrificing yourselves isn't the right move. As a judge, it's my responsibility to guard this prison. And if someone should step up to stop Hule from escaping, it should be me. Not you. Or do I it will be fine. The gate, I hope you'll help me seal it. After that, I'll do everything I can to fight the Borison. And do you find a safe place to hide and wait for reinforcements? Also, shouldn't still like Luo Jai and Jing Liu be in here as well? At least that's the last time we saw both of them inside of the Shackling Prison with Jing Yuan in an interrogation. Now, let's proceed upward. It's just been like almost a year now, but still, that's when we last saw them. <laughs> uh, this chest. I uh, just merge is gonna ignore you. See? I need to fight him. Okay, I guess we have to fight some invisible enemies though. Your positions. This is more than a battle. Fight to live. This time, this time, get a good spot. 
both of them get buffed actually. It's fine though. So this is the warmth of life. Bye bye. Firefly, take two. Bye bye. Grace and elegance. I can do this. Get them. Take your positions. Fiends or devils. I'll crush them all. This is more sense than this. Every victory is hard won. I'm guessing you kill it and lead to Hazard this time around or uh, nowhere. Okay. Where's the puzzle then? Okay, so on a different floor? Oh, right there. Uh, I can probably get up there if I do it from here. We're on the side. <laughs> uh, don't do anything already. Perfect. You're just turning there too. Ah, okay, I see how the invisible enemy there. No danger detected, but never let your guard down. And we are we going way back up. Hello. We must seal the entrance before the Boris and fugitives get out. The prison wardens and mechanisms won't be able to hold them for long. Follow me. Uh, I can't use that one. Can't use that one. You already are here. I think I almost back where we started. Did I get over there? No, I already was over there. We're almost there. The gate is just ahead. I'm just ignoring you. I 
will hold them back. Don't let Hule escape. We just easily beat him. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Every petal, all will be swept away by the wind. It'll catch up. Target sighted. Oh, good. Grace and elegance. <laughs> so this is position. the warmth of life. Squirt. <laughs> Easily denied. I'm just turning around. Mine and bye. You're not even turning around, I right? anyway. No danger detected. But never let your guard down. And jump on myself. Check the prisons become killing fear. The prison guards try the best, but Yaoja can only watch them. <laughs> Just one step away from freedom. As we pass through the gate, no one will be able to stop us. So this hostage is useless now. Kill him, Moktok. He's getting away. Do something, Chao Cho. It's just like the old days, you useless loser. Just do something! Maybe this Yao Qing messenger can strike a deal in exchange for his life. He can use his status to help us escape from the Xianzhou. What do you think, Mr. Jiao Zhou? <laughs> oh, just look at you. Fallen so low during my absence. You're even negotiating with livestock. As far as I recall, no one from the Yao Qing would ever consider a deal with Duran's offspring. I've got to make this beast stay here, whether it's for the sake of Fei Xiao or the Yao Qing. Deal. I certainly have more value alive. My identity, my knowledge of the Xianzhou, and my understanding of many things that your minions have no knowledge of. They'll all be valuable. <laughs> Lowly beast. Muster up that pitiful tongue of yours and plead for what remains of your life. Speak up. I'm afraid you're unaware. The woman who defeated you, Jing Liu, she has recently returned to the Law Fu. Your opportunity for revenge is right in front of you. <sighs> My lord, this slave is talking nonsense. I've never heard anything about this. May I just kill him now? Silence, Moktok. And you, slave. From now on, you'll stay by my side. You'll only speak and move when I allow you to. Otherwise, I'll dismember you from head to tail, inch by inch. Got it? Hmm. Uh, but, my lord... We 
must stay here for some time, Mock Talk. Fear not, because once I step out of the prison, it's the people of the Xiangzhou who should tremble in fear. I'll show them what true calamity means. Now, Duran's wills, follow me! I think I want to go to top route actually. I'm just ignore a lot of them. with the shackling prison we received a message from a cycrane the prisoners have revolted and the criminal hule is nowhere to be found what about the yaoching messengers and the nameless uh, no news at the moment we're trying to restore contact with the shackling prison as soon as possible i see you're dismissed General Jing Yuan, General Hua Yan. It's just as we suspected. The rise of the Ambrosial Arbor was not the end of things, but the beginning. The hand of the Ruin Legion has already sown the seeds of destruction. From this moment on, the Xianzhou Alliance will face an even greater challenge from both the abominations of abundance and the destruction itself. If this is what they want, I'm always up for a challenge. As the Marshal Special Envoy, I'll dispatch the Lawfu Cloud Knights to pursue Hule myself. Looks like the hidden drags have finally come to the surface. And as I said before, it's time to wash them away. Once and for all. So we've landed. After a brief but I was taking loss of communications, the lockdown track of the prison is once more under control. The express nameless have, may have emerged an arm, but one of the Yaocheng envoys has been taken hostage. Meanwhile, the Borosum world who lay long confined to the depths of the second prison has vanished without a trace. A pursuit between the hunter and the hunted will soon play out on the Zianjo Law of Food. Let me stay here a little longer in this Wait, this body. is really where the story ends. Wow. Wow. It's just time to hunt, but we are being really cockblocked for the hunt. Uh... Well, at least we have to date with the story, I guess. Mm. Hex Club is ignoring me again. Take a guess and shut up. <laughs> yeah, don't annoy me, X Club, dude. Oh, uh, more difficult. 
to be honest. It's a doll. A doll that it is. Uh, just shut up, thank you. Get a missions. Uh, to release the occupied carrier. We have the primeval blade. Why is playing a Fisher on? Didn't didn't I check that earlier? Oh, this one is on. Uh. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll do that sometime. Still haven't unlocked her yet. God, I haven't done any of the apocalyptic shadow stuff. I should do that. Ah, right now we have the companion mission. I want to do the companion mission later on, though. Saga of the Premier Blade. Navigate. Choose state of character related to mission. Yes. Because I want to unlock the event. Tough first. care wrap. Song Lotus Cake. Did you Guaranteed hear? Delicious. Bum, 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 bum. Turning back the clock to win watch that just began starting salt play. Wow. All right. Now that you're in position, Miss March, let's get this lesson started. The turning back the clock of time. I'm not good at acting all master like. Since Grandpa asked me to teach you sword play, I won't hold back any secrets. Oh, thank you so much, Masters. Oh, oh, wait. Does this mean our training is only officially starting right now? After all, we need to watch you practice for a few days before we can figure out how talented you are, right? So, how'd I do, Master? You're definitely talented, Miss March. Oh, hey, here you are. Did you hear that? These two masters just called me a swordplay genius. <laughs> oh, you're right. I almost got all excited for nothing. <laughs> I'm just speaking my mind. <laughs> Trust me, you're really talented. Did you hear that? I'm truly a genius. <laughs> swordplay requires rigorous training. Before we start, Miss March, you need to find a clear reason to keep you motivated while you train. It doesn't have to be something huge, but it needs to be clear. In other words, even though you didn't exactly choose to be our apprentice, you still need to take the initiative during this learning process. I once had the honor of learning swordplay from a master. She asked me why I started training at such a young age, why I wielded a sword. So. For our first lesson, I'd like to ask you the same question. Miss March, why do you wield your sword? Because you kind of was. Why do I wield my to. sword? I wield my sword to take down my enemies. I mean, what other reason is there? I also questioned that sword master about why she uses her sword, and she said, to vanquish my enemies, nothing more. Miss March? You gave a similar response, which shows you've got potential. I don't think you should put uh, like Jingle Yu as your best practice example. <laughs> the best 
best way to take down your enemy is with a blaster gun. I heard a hero say something like that in an immersia. He also mentioned that sword training can push a person's physical abilities to their ultimate limit. Seems like you've seen your fair share of immersia, Miss March. But if you want my opinion, if your goal is self-improvement, you'll feel just as accomplished even if you put down the sword and go back to your bow. Oh, come on. Don't listen to his empty talk. Oh? Now I'm curious to hear what Master Yun Li has to say. Let me ask you something, March. Do you have any specific goals for learning swordplay? Like achieving a certain ranking in the war dance, or maybe you want to defeat someone, like Yan Qing, or me. Who do I want to defeat? Him? Don Hong? Himeko? Or Mr. Yang? <laughs> if you can't think of anyone specific, why not set a simpler goal? Like, how many opponents do you want to defeat at once with a sword? I'll fight ten! <laughs> ten? Oops, uh, that just slipped out. It's actually another line from an immersia. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is full, full bragging. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I think nice. I figured out what's motivated March to learn swordplay. Could it possibly be immersia about swordmasters? Hey, now that you mention it, that actually makes sense. I'm super interested in Sienjo immersia and novels. Even though I use a bow, almost all the great heroes in those immersia use swords. So I want to be a sword master too. See? Sounds <laughs> like Yep, she has. She it has. It doesn't matter. Everyone has their own preferences. Becoming a sword master who fights for justice and battles evil. <laughs> well, that's definitely a good reason to keep you motivated in swordplay training. Uh, now that you've both given your approval. I have another small request. I want to perform a tea ceremony to honor you as my masters. Remember, you'll need to tap the table a few times with your fingers. Uh, tea ceremony? Tap the table? Do we have to be so serious about accepting an apprentice for the first time? Uh, please? That's how those heroes in the Immersia show their respect. <laughs> Play along? <laughs> Let's just stop wasting time. Just treat us to some milk tea. And then we can start our real swordplay training, okay? Uh, yeah! Alright, let's go! To the Sleepless Earl! <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Poor Yanjing. Why is there definitely a lot of like books and scrolls here? Ah, because it's her notes. Yeah, okay. I accept that. Not be, right? The Sienjo is known for its tea culture and hospitality, but you're not treating me like a guest at all. Seriously, am I not a guest? <sighs> Dear guest. Stop. Don't call me a guest. You're not even treating me as one. Stop I want my tea dog. just right. Not too hot, not too cold, but the tea you serve was either freezing or scalding. Is this how you treat your guest on the Sienjo? How fantastic! Your tea tastes like slop, and you even have the nerve to charge me for it! Are you trying to scam honest folks? 
And that name, the Sleepless Earl. It's so hard to remember. How about we give you a new plaque that says, Sienjo Slop? It suits this place better, don't you think? Mm, yeah, let's just give him a good beating. Stop! You've gone too far. Oh, who's that trying to be a hero? It's me, March 7th. Cause more trouble and I'll show you who your mommy is. Wait, that sounded lame. Uh, hey, uh, say something for me. <laughs> oh, that's right! I'm the sword champion! Never heard of you. Now scurry back to wherever you crawled out from. Mr. Scott, I'm Yen Ching, a Clout Knight Lieutenant. We've met before, and I suggest you stop causing trouble. Trouble? Ha! I'm just giving some feedback as a regular customer. The tea here is terrible, and now the Cloud Knights want to stop me from complaining about it? At this rate, who would want to ever come here for tea in the future? A lot of people, and if you don't want to come, we are happy with that. Just peace out and don't bother us. A regular customer? You? Yeah, what else would I be? The Sienjo's prisoner? Anyway... If you're trying to bully this young lady, you'd better watch out for the weapon in my hand. Huh? You're not really having much. Oh, that really scares me. <laughs> Come on. You're not seriously trying to take my life with that piece of uh, scrap metal, are you? Uh, scrap metal? Uh, this is my sword. I'm here to learn Sienjo's sword play. Sword play? Oh, I get it now. It's just another kind of play, right? That explains why you're dressed like you're in a show. You're not even from the CN Joe, so why bother learning their sword play? If you're feeling unsafe, I can sell you an IPC map. Ha! Huh, as if anyone wants your junkyard scrap mechs. Looks like yeah, you guys are show. totally clueless. Well, guess it's time to show these bumpkins something serious. They're really gonna make us fight some. Just a reminder, IPC members. Street fighting on the Sienjo Lafu is prohibited. <laughs> make any funny moves, and I'll smash that scrap metal. Hey, hey, relax. I know the rules. These are my subordinates. They got stuck here because of the transport ship incident, and they need to vent their frustration. In the end, it's all the Sienjo's fault. Well, I could overlook the terrible tea, but now that you're questioning my security, I can't let it slide. After all, I have a courier business to run. With so many clients watching, that just wouldn't look too good now, would it? Instead of uh, wasting up. your life learning useless swordplay, why not invest in our civilian mechs? Hmm? You'll have your master kneeling and begging for mercy in no time. Stop! Don't you dare insult Sienjo's swordplay like that! If you have the guts, I'll show your mechs what I can do! Huh? A fight, you say? <laughs> now that you've thrown down the gauntlet March 7th, I feel I'm obliged to accept your challenge. Let's just do it. Let's get it Say over. Whatever you want, but once you've seen what our mechs can do, you'll be practically begging us for them. Oh, come on. How could I say no to a bet? So, I can see you're no master yet, March, but I'll play fair. You go back and learn swordplay from your teachers here, and in 15 days, I'll come find you and challenge you with my mechs. Only 15 days? All right. Fine. And if you lose, you'll have to bark like a dog in public and shout, Sienjo swordplay is a total joke! You'll stand at the entrance of our room alley and say it to everyone passing by. 
Oh, and if that's the case, just forget about your master and become my apprentice instead. I'll teach you how to pilot a mech. And if I win? You get some I'll win. become your apprentice? Nah, I don't think so. I don't like you. <laughs> okay, how about this? If I lose, I'll squeal like a pig in public and say, IPC mechs are a total joke. And I'll even print that on every mech on the transport ship. Deal? <laughs> the squealing isn't enough. You also need to apologize to the owner of the Sleepless Earl and take back what you said about Sienjo's sword play. Fine, fine, I get it. But you've got to actually beat me with that little scrap of metal first. Be you easy. all heard it, right? We'll meet again in 15 days. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Are you okay? Oh, yes. Thank you all for your timely help. The shop facing a bit of flat from visitors is a minor issue. But Miss March's decisions to challenge him is serious. <sighs> oh, I feel responsible as if the shop has inconvenienced you. Uh, don't worry. I can't stand by and watch someone be bullied. I have to stand up against injustice, no matter what. Oh, not only do you speak like a hero from an immersia, but you also have a kind heart. Your charisma has completely won me over, Miss March. Easy. <laughs> I'm not quite a hero. Yet. <laughs> oh, I know you're here for the tea ceremony. Please come inside. Uh, thanks for the invitation, but right now, I just want to focus on practicing swordplay. Masters, let's save the tea for later. Sure, the tea can wait for now. However... I have a question, Miss March. How confident are you about the bet you just made? Very confident. Come on, how could I possibly lose? Right. Uh, you're right. It, it seems she really hasn't considered anything. <laughs> I don't see any issue with it. Let March give it a shot. As long as she trains diligently, I believe she can easily deal with that hunk of IPC scrap metal. Yep. As long as she trains diligently. I'm now filled with determination, Masters. I'll learn swordplay well and teach that guy a lesson. <laughs> You're my most trusted friend. You'll be my assistant teacher and make sure I learn swordplay properly. Do I get paid as an assistant teacher? Hey, when have I ever treated you poorly? <laughs> Masters, Mr. Teaching Assistant, let's go back and start the training now. Okay. That was kind of an unnecessary uh, detour, but sure. Also, why is that courier package? Okay. Whoa. That IPC guy will show up in 15 days. I've got to become a swordmaster by then. Becoming a swordmaster in a mere 15 days is quite challenging. But we can't lose our momentum, Master Yun Li. Momentum alone will only keep you going for about three days. If you really want to stick with it, you need a solid plan. No worries. I've found my professional teaching assistant to help me organize the lessons. 
so there won't be any problems. Mm. Alright, let's do this. Rest assured, masters. If not in me, at least place your faith in him. My trusty sidekick. You're actually my sidekick. Miss March is really passionate about learning swordplay. And now she has a clear goal in mind. That's a good thing for her. There are many ways to defeat villains, but if you want to become a true hero, you have to focus on self-improvement. I hope you will always remember this, Miss March. Got it. It's all etched into my memory. Uh, since you've got that in mind, it's time for me to set some targets for you. Please go ahead, Master Yunli. We'll have three exams during these 15 days. If you pass our tests, those pieces of IPC scrap won't stand a chance. But if you fail, <laughs> that would mean Yun Li is a terrible teacher. And if that's the case, I hope you won't force yourself to take on the challenge, Miss March. It wasn't with me. Hey, you're a bad teacher. You are the terrible teacher here. I understand. In the Immersia, the disciple and the master share both honor and disgrace. If the apprentice fails, the master loses face too. Well, there aren't that many customs on the Sienjo. I'm just worried about you getting hurt. But as long as you practice diligently and pass the tests, we'll feel confident about your duel. Now, let's go back to the first question I asked you. I'm sure you found a reason to wield your sword, right, Miss March? Absolutely! I wield my sword to become a hero! I want to fight for justice! Punish the wicked and make them quiver in fear and run away when they see me. Then keep that fire burning and learn with all your heart. You haven't said much, Mr. Teaching Assistant. Any suggestions before we officially start training? Where's our bring twists to the face? What twists? Like the ones in those Swordmaster novels? But I wonder what kind of unexpected twists I'll encounter. I bump into a lonely ghost, maybe. Love him, genius enigma. It comes with divine elixir. I doubt it. It's kind of from a sage. Probably bump into a lonely ghost. It'd be pretty awesome if that actually happened. Ah, uh, that's enough chit chat for now. Uh, don't forget to keep an eye on my swordplay practice. All right. As the sword we will be arranging March 7th sword play session and helping her with her mastering sword moves to prepare to defeat Scott in 15 days. Yeah, uh, so key for mastering the sword lies I'm seeing a really sword moves. Cut a fluff, let March get hands on and learn a few moves directly. Okay, this is what most. Sword play is the very essence of all sword moves and can unleash immense power in combat. Let's start by beginning a tiny goal. Learn the cuttings from the edge. Okay. Oh. Alright. We need string for that. I guess. So this will be as you're learning go and you can check the required stats for mustang tier. Alright. You can boost your stats by setting up target and turning your session with the Okay. I'm not even sure. Oh, yeah, oh, well. Ah, okay. It's selling me up there. How much it like? Improve it. Why is it detained there? He's lifting detings. <laughs> I like the manga style of this though. This is such a nice like style for this. 
At least I keep him get you, huh? <laughs> Just wanted to ask. All right. Training will consume mood. If my mood isn't good, efficiency will also decrease. Resting work and rest is crucial. Press here to schedule an excursion to restore mood. Ah. Let's do a city stroll, I guess. And then do some more strength training. This can take a long time, press you to speed up the pursuit. Ah, okay. Yeah, please. Kind of attention to the, of the law for folks, most of shit associates and self name to this special price to do challenge to rising marshals start March 7. Okay, hmm. what do you recommend? Hmm. To work on a sound training one task, and then let's do this. Hmm? Today, I need time to absorb everything. Mm -hmm. Did I really just learn that? Uh. I guess I am pretty awesome after all. Let's see. That should give me a word. Oh, it's quite because. Oh, get a strength boost. Oh. I was our incredible already qualified to fulfill Master Cutting Cold. Another new move under my belt. Looks like this could bid on this move and learn the next little sword play. Get it, okay. Why is it making me just go for like only strength though. Um, we should push up a bit on tenacity actually. Push on the dexterity. I don't think so.
Today, you'll face your first test. It's all about the basics. Oh, I know. It's float like a butterfly, sing like a bee, right? Uh, that's mm. boxing? But close enough, I guess. <laughs> Grasping the basics is crucial to mastering swordplay, Miss March. Focus on wielding your sword properly, making your thrusts swift and strikes brisk. And parries should be fluid and nimble. Got it! See? Even March is getting bored of your rambling. <laughs> uh, uh, but I'm actually not bored at all. Miss March is still a novice, so I'm giving her some tips on the basics to help her better understand them. Neglecting the basics will only make you vulnerable in a fight. Even for an extraordinary sword master like you, Yun Li. Uh, just focus on your teaching. Why bring me into this? What? Didn't General Hoi An offer you any guidance? <laughs> Looks like your general hasn't told you to stop hopping around like a sparrow in a fight, huh? Miss March has been learning the yeah, basics of sword test, And now, it's time to put her knowledge to the test. Unsheath your swords, and show me what you've got, March. According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? We're going to be functioning in temporary rules. No assistance in team is allowed. Very much so. It's interesting as the reason will be to pass the trial. I can really try to pass the test and restore her mood. Okay. Uh, let's see how well this goes. Uh, okay, yeah, I actually should push like the base stats next time a bit more. Plus 10 on everything. Sweet. Looks like I passed the test, right? <laughs> yeah. Well done. You passed with flying colors. Uh, great. Hey, uh, hurry up and congratulate me. Just two more tests to go. Jeez, you sound just like those parents on the Sienjo. Can't I get some praise now? I couldn't have done it without my masters and you, Mr. Teaching Assistant. So if I were to take on that IPC guy now, what would you say are my chances? Mm. You already have a martial arts background and plenty of real combat experience. With swordplay guidance from me and Yun Li, if you were to challenge the IPC's security mechs now, I believe... You wouldn't stand a chance. Please. Right. And no chance? Hey, are you trying to crush my confidence? I'm the kind of girl who performs better when I'm showered with praise, just so you know. <laughs> Oh, come on. You're just talking nonsense to keep me motivated. Yep. <laughs> I thought teaching March was just something of a hobby. But now, actually seeing her progress gives me a sense of accomplishment. Oh, really? So now you finally acknowledge her talent, Master Yun Li? Don't worry, Miss March. I've been serious about teaching you from the start. Oh, don't try to cause a rift <sighs> Why between are these two to try Every move and technique I taught March is straight from the Jooming Art of Swordplay. Fifteen days of training is short, Miss March. 
Whether you pass or fail this test, I hope you'll continue with the basics, because that's your best shot at winning. After every test, the General would take me to the Artisanship Commission for sword maintenance. Let's go, Miss March. Today, I'll follow the General's example as a way of acknowledging your progress. Oh, thank you, Master Yen Ching. All right. What was that in a duck calling on the law foo? Okay. So, have you found any information about her? Yeah, that girl is one of the nameless on the Astral Express. Oh, she's no pushover. Don't you think this bet's a bit too risky? Yeah, it is. So what? Have you seen those big shots in the strategic investment department? Do they ever make safe bets? They do have a blend though she before they make these bets. Me by flying under the radar? You there! Get me the most powerful mech we've got! Uh, understood. Checking the inventory now. Now I'm curious to see what this 15-day crash course apprentice is really capable of. Oh, you were scrolling and bugging. Okay. Let's get the rest of the basics done. Another step closer to star crazing glass great sword. Plus, I would have to improve so, but then I kind of familiar figure to this cave location. Ah, there's our ghost. Long time I see you, Tom, Miss March. Long time, I'm still busy bus uh, busting ghosts recently. There are a few here by related jobs than before, though they've been replaced with other matters. It's been a while. What are you doing here? I'm taking a break at Star's Cave Haven, just watching the Star Ghosts say one by one. It's really relaxing. Being a ten lords commission judge is pretty stressful too, I bet. Two? Or have you run into something that's been weighing heavily on your mind, Miss March 7? I've started picking up Chienjo swordplay, so there's been some academic stress and social stress. A little bit on the matter of the upcoming duel between March 7th and the IBC Busybody. I think I get a gist of it. It's um, not easy trying to master a school swordplay in such a short time. No wonder Miss March 7 is stressed out. I know some of you are wanting sword blade, so if you need some help. You can't even hold your sword steady, don't you think you're macerating your skills? Sh sure, I can't hold it steady, but I'm better than you. You don't even have hands. Oh, the timid fry has got a sharp tongue. If you were in a war dance ring I possessed you, you would have it really hard to lose that bread from the seat of divine foresight. That's your chick is really powerful. You sure you aren't just blowing smoke, Mr. Tayan? <laughs> as long as I possess um, someone extraordinary caliber and absorb that person's, person's memories, any moments I can master accept the same technique. Is that the fastest way to do it if you want to learn that bread sword play? No, 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 I won't undo this here. So, <sighs> I guess you decide to help your friends only with this much, eh? Thank you, for, thank you both for looking out for me. Tell me what do you think about the shortcut? Uh, there are no shortcuts when it comes to learning. It's all true for you. I spot on. When Mr. Taylor leaves me, I'll be left with nothing. That goes against the fundamentals of swordplay training. You both think it's a better idea, right, Miss March? <laughs> and here I was trying to be nice. Even if I wanted it, I'd, I wouldn't help you now. Um, but I had just sent over a zombie case. Looks like break time's over. We'll talk again, Miss March. Catch you later. And whoa, this appears. After getting some for I think there's something to be cleaned from Mr. Tails' suggestions. When I see ho ho again, I should ask for advice from both her and Mr. Tails. Uh, who will provide two assist effects every day? 
Oh, nice. So, uh, can receive assistance companion, sense the uh, efficiency of a training and excursion. Tenacity training and strength training will be increased. Alright. Retaining an excursion activity is satisfied, the uh, assist effect will be highlighted. Do they have more sword player escapades? Oh, okay. I guess we were gonna be pushing tenacity a bit. Uh. Let's do this. It's all right, anecdote. Uh, mm, what do you recommend? You want a dexterity. Increase the next strength's efficiency after performing an excursion by 100. Increase my consumption by 200. Increase the point of training for the first time. Ooh. What? Did I? Let's push that. Today, I need time to absorb everything. Sweet. Wonder what I'll run into today. A new escapade. Okay, I gave up on letting the hideo by absorb motion in exchange for sword skills. Just then, hold over sleeping before a certain samurai related case. I summoned a match master too. too. Who would you look so dazed? Um, you fear two zombies in the fixed garden recently. Well, zombies might not be the right word. The victims had no hero by traces on them, no obvious external injuries, but they kept repeating some strange behavior. How interesting. Miss much of please don't patronize me. Mm. Uh, must be a side effect for me to get sully. Yes. I don't need any time out of stuff. Thank you. Uh, that's not impossible, but I've ever acted so strangely. You run for super fast. Uh, so it's probably not that simple. Just like when you and Tom move from the ghost hunting squad, let's analyze this together. Next hour, let's have the resident expert who introduced the case. Okay, okay. Tell me, Mike, the click if we put our brains together. The first victim is a Warden's Combat Registrant. Their masters were Richard, and when they were discovered, their arms were stretched out in front of them, and they were muttered all sorts of exercise uh, rhymes. The second victim is also a Warden's Combat Registrant. He is a former Cloud Knight proficient at the spear. Uh, was discovered practicing pole vaulting with his spear. Uh, the victims have something in common. They are both Warden's contestants. It appears the Carpet is expressly uh, choosing Warden's contestant as their targets. Mm. Mm. What's your participant two? So I will next target them. We should give the analysis a rest first and let us finish talking. Besides the fact that they were participants, they also had a similar characters. They were both fools who went fixed to a garden to poke around after reading the messages on the low food ghost to growth. Of course. The citizens believe that Fixture Garden, Venture Gloom, will temper their skills and decide to train here before the match is started. In some attempt to harness the worldly energies absorbed here, people still believe this mumble jumbo in these days and age. Finally, these two were shoot home by the Ten Lords Commission Spirit Pharaoh on duty. Angle Jew started acting funny in the following days. 
Um, it must be a Healy by. I'm also guessing it's an escape here, but it's up to no good. I think it's even similar to Rainy's entry in Mercia. Does this song guarantee you have two disciples and one of them got bitten by a zombie and the other got jumped by a female ghost? I'm you has no disciples. Cut down on your Mercia addiction and touch some grass. <laughs> <laughs> yes, go touch grass, March. Since you want to join the war dance, you must be careful. Don't forget to contact me if anything happens. Good luck, I hope to catch a culprit and close the case soon. Goodbye. Always cut us off in a hurry. I think the best targets war dance contains on purpose, Tom. How about we try our luck at fixed to a gun when we've got time? We might be able to help Ho Ho. Sure. Uh, let's get a bonus unlocked. It's now available as an excursion. Mm. Music territory increase the rewards gained from execution by 60%. So I'm going to you can go to give an So I saw a move, but also increase the strength and tenacity stats. I mean, how does our dexterity look right now? Our dexterity actually looks fine. But we can do some dexterity training since it's boosted. Uh, this is which I don't know this piece is. Oh, this is like not what I wanted. Uh, Not as well, I need to go. Uh, how should I go about uh, this? Just take just some your cutie stats. I learned so much today. Time for your second test. I'll be your examiner this time, and I'll be testing your ability to defeat enemies with unconventional moves. Grandpa always said that everything can be a sword, and that there are endless possibilities for learning sword play in this vast world. If you want to defeat your opponent, you'll need your own secret move. <laughs> Speaking of secret moves, I've prepared some flaming potent tea. <laughs> huh? Is that the flaming potent tea from Arumali? You got it. I saw this immersia where the hero drank the flaming potent tea and started stumbling and shaking all over the place. But then he managed to defeat his father's murderer with his drunken sword play. <laughs> Good example. Do you know how to do the drunken sword play? Uh, no. I figured I could just learn it by drinking flaming potent tea. I feel like this is a reference to one of uh, to an anime. I remember there was something like that in some like order of older anime I watched years back, so I don't remember which it was. That's not how it works in real life, Miss March. Absolutely! I've learned a lot from my adventures. I've heard you've traveled a lot, Miss March. I'm excited to see how you incorporate your experiences into your swordplay moves. Your opponent this time is similar to the IPC mechs. Unsheath your swords and give it everything you've got. Mm, let's see what actually According to the schedule, there's a test today, right? I'm ready. Okay, I actually can boost my level to be on the same. Another step closer to star crazing glass great sword. Mm. Okay. It actually really wants me to go like hard on strength. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I really should boost my strength a bit more to get like this tree done correctly. Oh, 
can see we're only even footing this time around. It also boosts me to get some more stuff. Oh, you, that was tough. Those moves were pretty unconventional, but the way you blended them into your swordplay was impressive. It's like you've developed your own unique style, Miss March. So, I thought you were just wasting your time traveling around with Yun Lee's encouragement. But it seems like it's paid off. Well, well. Looks like someone's finally seeing sense. Uh, thank you both for your guidance. So, uh, did I pass the test? <laughs> Without a doubt. You aced it. Sweet! Awesome! Hey, Mr. Teaching Assistant. Isn't it about time you showered me with praise? She's really begging for it. No saving allowed. Let's keep it relevant. This time's for now, next time's for later. No IOUs on praise. <laughs> uh, I won't be modest this time. My skills have improved by leaps and bounds. General Jing Yuan once told me that everyone has the potential to be my master. Not just Cloud Knight instructors, but also artists and outsiders. Actually, I was once convinced by Gwynaipin into swallowing a sword. That's definitely not something you learn from regular practice. <laughs> so, what do you think your odds are, March? I'm moving. Uh, maybe around 30 or 40%? Well, I've gained a deeper understanding of swordplay, and I'm more aware of my own strengths now. By the way, in those Immersia stories, the sword masters always hide their true strength before a decisive battle. Uh, yes, so we both of we should end up losing. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. From the test. I can tell that you still need some time to master your swordplay. But you did pretty well. Milk tea is on me today. Oh, yeah! I was that in a dark corner on the law for her. The progress report on the Nameless Girl's sword training is complete. What should I do now, Specialist Scott? Huh? Are you being sarcastic or something? I mean... Don't I have other important tasks to do? It feels like a bit of a waste of time to keep tabs on some random <laughs> girl swordplay training. A waste of time? No! This is about safeguarding the reputation of the IPC and the honor of the Amber Lord. Are you saying that March 7th can actually take down an Arumaton from the Artisanship Commission with a sword? Come on, an Arumaton is no match for our state-of-the-art mechs. Go and strengthen our mechs even further. I refuse to believe that little sliver of metal can actually challenge our cutting edge technology. We have the cutting edge technology. No, it's not enough. Reinforce it more. If I lose face, it's like losing face for the IPC and the Ember Lord. Can we afford to let that happen? Understood. This is such an idiot. Right, let's continue for a bit. 
Uh, stick training. Okay, let's go with that. Another new move under my belt. I gotta find time to try it out. So we got a lot more stuff now. And I'm just really gonna push things now. Sword anecdote, sweet. Uh, how should I go about this? Mm. It gives me less point call and total to take both, so let's go for one. Uh. Wonder what I'll run into today. Escapade, okay. And fix your gun in the middle of the night. The other bus is focused specifically on attacking Rolex conditions. It's quick to encounter in its ghost. What oh, is amazing? You've got a spiritual light gushing out of your crown. To have the physique of a martial prodigy at such a young age. Your mod only appears once in a century. Yeah, she might actually be alive for you. What do you mean, huh? I'm a born martial genius. As long as they let me attach onto you, your common radiance will be instantly activated, allowing you to attain centuries worth of effort in no time. Victory rewards will be a cakewalk. <laughs> Trying to appear to my competitors below? No can do. Stop covering the shadows and show yourself. Fine, you got me. Also, though, I'm the master of all martial arts across all schools. Just let me touch your head and I'll be able to impart all my skills to you in the blink of an eye. And about Bryce, I don't suppose becoming a zombie and sputtering gibberish, is it? Forget it, I'm not learning any of that. You don't want to? I'm afraid that's not up to you. I give my lessons free of charge. You have no choice but to learn him. How much of a can see before her is darkness? Count as much out of me and unarmed styles all search into her mind. Unfortunately, though, not a single move is related to swordplay. Ah! You're not Miss March. Here I come. I was almost so late. We're gonna see you here, ho home. I was already in physical activity this being subdued. Let's have the duty record here by in the uh, Luna Ombra board. I suddenly can't move my arms and legs. I'll play a talisman on you and then you need to have a good rest. And sometime later. I think I've gotten to the bottom of this zombie mystery. The hero by braid on the competitive field of the contenders to channel all Martian run to us into the mines. How to raise your arms and legs, how to move your body, infinite emotions, uh, information searching into your mind non stop. A pity we are not like healer by such a massive magnitude of information will only overload our minds and us immobile. Can I beef the mind? Well, it was just a short time. I felt like I could see everything, hear everything, but I couldn't do a single thing. So, this is what it means when the body can't keep up with the mind. I think current car another few characters should be getting back to the seat of the seat of fire. We meet again. Goodbye, ho ho. Oh, scars off in a hurry. Always scuttling. Thinking about spending some time for her today, but she's got uh, stuff to do. Let's chat again next time. I'm training being possessed by heal boss, so let's go grab something tasty to eat. Alright. I've been enhanced. Oh, give us more buff. Sweet. Acuity efficiency is an extra new to put on. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Another new move under my belt. I got it. We can do like this excursion. That is another one. Let's do it like this. Let's get a mouse out of this.
started training and it was good for me. Okay. I was like, sorry, logging. Yeah, okay. But I think what I will do for today is I will actually leave it here at that safe and exit. And we will continue with the event next time further down the line. There. Also, I'm gonna actually need all of these things to uh, boost my only a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> I actually haven't like found more of these because I know I will uh, get these for only. So when do I get the other one rewards? Mm, can we the next one, three and five? Oh, okay. What? But yeah, as I said, how we're ending it here today. So let's see who we can raid. Um, none of the people have followed us online. Again. But, uh, let's see. We're gonna write to the Yeah, uh, no, like Sparrow VTuber is on, was like doing English stuff. Looks nice. Oh, no. there's one. A BNG YouTuber. Let's go first time. Um. Go to my board. With that, I have found someone for wait, and I'm saying we will definitely continue with this event next time, and maybe also with the companion quest for Yun Li. Um, see what he's up to then. And yeah, I'm kind of curious what he will do with like this whole uh, like wolf thing. I already forgot what they were called again. Um, but it's really too. <sighs> Hopefully we'll get like facial and such as characters, but cares I kind of wanna have her. <laughs> but hey. Until this happens, we get we definitely we get uh, Jojo. But he's coming out in like a week or so, so this will be in a bit. But yeah. We'll be seeing each other soon with Star Ray again. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave some feedback and also support. It's always appreciated. Mm. And be nice or in the raid as always. And with that, we we'll see each other next time. Until then. Bye bye.